prayers for great exploits in all ramifications. God, in his mercy and grace, provides all things that pertain to life and godliness. May you find him gracious and may he lavish you with grace to do exploits for him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello brethren in the Lord. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Prayer Altars. As usual, we have five prayer points for you to pray today. You are expected to pray each prayer point repeatedly for at least two minutes. And I see God answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To continue, kindly pray all the prayer points in this video, then like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Please also, make comments and share this video link with your loved ones and provide feedback to us in the comment section. You shall enjoy life to its fullness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's go into the prayers. One. Father, thank you for the grace to be alive to see another brand new day another new week in this month. I will be forever grateful to you for this awesome privilege in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. One. Father, thank you for the grace to be alive to see another brand new day another new week in this month. I will be forever grateful to you for this awesome privilege in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father. Thank you for the grace to be alive to see another brand new day another new week in this month. I will be forever grateful to you for this awesome privilege in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 1. Father, thank you for the grace to be alive to see another brand new day another new week in this month. I will be forever grateful to you for this awesome privilege in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me become an envy of men as you cause me to wax great and experience unimaginable progress in ministry, career, and business from now on in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 to 14, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me become an envy of men as you cause me to wax great and experience unimaginable progress in ministry, career, and business from now on in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 to 14, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. 2. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me become an envy of men as you cause me to wax great and experience unimaginable progress in ministry, career, and business from now on in Jesus' name. 
Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 to 14, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. Two. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let me become an envy of men as you cause me to wax great and experience unimaginable progress in ministry, career, and business from now on in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 to 14, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. Three, Father, through the greatness of your power, vindicate me from all lies of the devil meant to frustrate me in my career and ministry as you expose every trick of men targeted to bring me down in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. Three, Father, through the greatness of your power, Vindicate me from all lies of the devil meant to frustrate me in my career and ministry as you expose every trick of men targeted to bring me down in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, vindicate me from all lies of the devil meant to frustrate me in my career and ministry as you expose every trick of men targeted to bring me down in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. 3. Father, through the greatness of your power, Vindicate me from all lies of the devil meant to frustrate me in my career and ministry as you expose every trick of men targeted to bring me down in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 25, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let things begin to work for my advantage in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, let lines begin to fall unto me in pleasant places in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, Psalms 16 to 6. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let things begin to work for my advantage in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, let lines begin to fall unto me in pleasant places in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, Psalms 16 to 6. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let things begin to work for my advantage in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, let lines begin to fall unto me in pleasant places in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, Psalms 16 to 6. 4. Father, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let things begin to work for my advantage in career, business, and ministry. Henceforth, let lines begin to fall unto me in pleasant places in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, Psalms 16 to 6. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, Arise and fight against any mortal man who had conspired to contend with my rising. Disappoint whosoever has vowed to frustrate my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 68, 1-2, to 
Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 35 to 1. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, arise and fight against any mortal man who had conspired to contend with my rising. Disappoint whosoever has vowed to frustrate my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 68, 1-2, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 35-1. to 1. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, arise and fight against any mortal man who had conspired to contend with my rising. Disappoint whosoever has vowed to frustrate my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 68, 1-2. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 35 to 1. 5. Father, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, arise and fight against any mortal man who had conspired to contend with my rising. Disappoint whosoever has vowed to frustrate my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 68, 1 to 2. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Psalms 35 to 1. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos.